Have you ever experienced HTTP 500 errors when you're building applications with Zen Expressive, but found that your logs are somewhat empty? Ever had no clue why or how this could be happening? Perhaps you forgot to enable the Whoops error handler. That's right. Perhaps when you were setting up a Zen Expressive application, you made the mistake which I made recently, which was when using the Zen Expressive Skeleton installer, you were asked the following question. You perhaps answered no. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because if you chose N, then the final exception handler would have been used as PHP's default exception handler. As a result, no exceptions would have been written to your logs. Sure, you'll see that a 500 error has occurred somewhere within your application, but the only information that you'll have is the following not so very helpful error message. This is awkward. We encountered a 500 error. If you found yourself in this situation, then the first thing I suggest you do is stop doubting your sysadmin or DevOps skills or those of whoever is taking care of this for you. Stop also questioning the setup of your environment. Perhaps it was something as simple as not enabling whoops. Instead, here's what I suggest you do. Check if you have a file called errorhandler.local.php under config slash autoload in your project. If not, then create it and add in the following configuration. Here you can see that we've got the essential use statements for the pretty page handler and whoops error handler factory so that we can make use of whoops and, and load it up. We've then in the dependencies listed that in the invocable section that we want whoops and the whoops page handler available as dependencies for our DI container and that the final handler will be taken care of by the whoops error handler factory which will in turn use whoops. With that set you can then also look at adding JSON exceptions but I'm not going to sort of focus on that right now. By using the .local.php file suffix this will ensure that error handling is only enabled in development and doesn't make it to a production environment. With the new configuration added if you reload your application you can now see that the whoops error handler comes into effect as you can see here, giving you much, much more detailed information displayed in all its glory by what I think is the excellent whoops error handler. If you found yourself in the same situation that I was, having little rants about how difficult it is to enable logging specifically in Docker, step back, have a look at your Zen Expressive error handling configuration. Perhaps that's where the problem lies. Anyway, if you want more videos like this, check out masterzenframework.com where you'll find increasingly all kinds of videos and tutorials about anything and everything related to Zend Expressive.